Hello and welcome to another episode of Course Showcase. I am Maverick Mutt and today we will be playing Emerald Dragon GC by Storm Pooper 6188 which uh me and the me and the boy got a kick out of the, the name. Let's go ahead and look at the course details. We've got a par 72 7864 total yards. Fairways are firm, greens are soft, green speeds are medium. Weather is clear, time of day is dawn. We will be going from the black tee, that's 7,191. Because, as we always do, we go from the back tees. And seeing how this is the first time through, we go to pin one. And... Sometimes this default wind gets really crazy, so let's uh, let's go ahead and shut it off. Sometimes that default wind just blows out all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, well, nothing to do but to do it, so let's do it. As always, we're gonna send the old camera up to get a bird's eye view of the course. Oh, lots of water. Lots of water. Water, water everywhere. Let's go up. Let's find, uh, let's see. I think let's see right about trying to find a good place for for a thumbnail shot, you know. I like that. I think that'll be our thumbnail. But that is for a later date. Let's go ahead and jump into the into the course. First hole, par four, three sixty six to the pin. Let me see how the tempo is today, shall we? Oh, she's a little fast. She's still a little fast today. But it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, let's a little bit of a little bit of back loft on this. About right there. That was the perfect I was looking for. I love a good approach game. Gotta love a short game. Having a good short game is just as important as being able to drive. Now, some some people can't knock it, you know, 300 and something yards, but they can still, uh, with their short game, they can still come up, guarantee you, at least a par. Putting is important too, and I messed that one all up. Well, we open up with a uh, with par. Nothing to be ashamed of about that. Second hole, par four, four hundred even to the pin. I do like this little uh, drop off right here. There is uh, your ball goes down that. There is no saving it. You're not taking a shot next to the water on that. Oh, that's a very fast. This could turn into a bad situation. Ooh. It ball ran out of gas right before it got close to that bunker. That could have been could have been a lot worse than it. All 
Now we're slow, but uh, it's okay. Just still having problems working my timing out. I, it should... I guess I might have to just get on here and, and just spend a couple hours at the range just getting everything back together. This looks like it was straight. I do like this green, though, man. This green is, is forever and a day. So far, we're holding par. So far, we're holding par. Third hole par four, 482 to the pin. Plenty of landing space, but also a very large bunker if things go wrong. But I think we turned out all right. There we go. Could have carried it a little more. Could have lofted a little, or, you know, a little front spin on it. Carried it up towards the green or towards the flag a little more, but uh, it is what it is. We're a good ways out. Got a little bit of work to go. We're looking decent. We're looking decent. There you go. Long birdie putt. Nothing wrong with a long birdie putt. Fourth hole, par five. First par five of the course. We're coming in at 447 yards to the pin. We off. <laughs> we almost make a complete U-turn on this one. A little fast. That might end up. Nope. I think we're going to be okay. If we missed that first bunker, which was I, which is what I was worried about, we were going to miss that bunker. Ooh, we're playing dangerous now. We're going over all the bunkers. We're going over them all. Should clear him, though. Should clear him. Nice. Can't go wrong with that. Be a little chip shot onto the green. Which way is this green going? Just like that, we chip it in. For an eagle. Let's go. We'll take the I'll take a chip in for an eagle any day. All right, and rolling into the tee box of the fifth. Three under. This is a first par three of the course. We're coming in at 200 yards even to the pin. Plenty of landing spot there on the green. We also have plenty of uh, bunker right there in the front. I'm gonna put just a little bit of a little bit of a backspin on that to, to help it out some. Good. That's actually gonna be long. Yep. I. Rather been a little closer to this side of the pen, but it is what it is, you know. Got a nice right to left here. A little too soft and a little misread. Oh, a little too hard. Man, we're going to. You hate you hate to do that. You really do hate to do that. You really do. 
Well, we're still two under. But, uh, it was, you know, words of Bob Ross, no mistake, it was a happy accident. So we're going to we're going to let that happy accident uh leave it back on that uh on the fifth hole and move on. Ooh, a little fast. This could end up squirrely. This could end up squirrely indeed. Got a lucky lie. Could have very well been into the, the shaggy stuff there. Could have even pushed further into the bunker there. So we got uh, we got pretty lucky. A little on the slow side. I'm going to need you to stop. I'm going to need you to stop. Well, better than nothing. That one, that should get our, that should get our stroke back. Hate to see that bogey though. I would have loved to have seen a bogey free round, but, um, I goofed it. Seventh hole, par four. 438 yards to the pin. Good straight shot. Still a little fast. That fast is going to get us. That fast is going to get us one day. By this round. We're going to get it this round one time. I can see it coming. That fast is, is really going to hurt us. You just sit right there. That's a good spot. I'm okay with that. The greens are not overtly hard. Um, the slope, you know, they do got a little bit of a slope to them, so they, there is that slope challenge. But they're not uh, they're not crazy. Like I don't see any red anywhere on this. You know. It might be a little on the high side. Nope. She dribbled in, dribbled in for it. Thought I burnt that, thought I burnt it right there on the uh, lip of the cup on the right, but it, uh, it dribbled in. Eighth hole par five. 451 to the pin. Should be a very easy... Yeah, so we're already got a driver out. Man, come on fast. Oh, we got a lucky bounce. <laughs> Folks, that was a lucky bounce right there out of that bunker. We could have, uh, that could have easily, easily been our bunker ball that I said we were getting. Could have very well been it. I'm going to need you to sit about right there. That is a thing of beauty. I would have loved, I loved, I, man, if that would have gone in, that would have been my first albatross. We'll take the eagle. We'll move on. Six under through eight. Can't complain about that. We are finishing the back nine or the front nine. My bad. Know what hole you're on, sir. Act like you do this. Ah, uh, we are finishing the front nine with a par three. One ninety-one to the pin. 
Not too bad of a. I think we can pull that off. A little slow, but I don't think it's going to hurt us. Didn't hurt at all. Didn't hurt us at all. That should fall for another birdie. That puts a seven under through the front nine. Opening up the back nine with a par four. Par four, 362 yards to the pin. Down a, uh, right down the side of a, a channel, a canal. A lot of wide open space. A lot of wide open space. A little fast, but right where I want it. Drop that one in for the birdie. Eight under through 10. It's a good course uh, so far. It's a very nice course. I haven't ran into anything that's that's really been kind of a, a head scratcher as to why it was done. Um, It's a lot of, I mean, a lot of big greens, a lot of big fairways. They're you know, so that it's plenty of room for plenty of room for you to to make a mistake and still not quite get a hazard. Uh, I can see why why it is definitely listed as, as easy, very, very good course to learn on. Very large course, so you don't have a lot of mistakes. Like, that sh could have been on another, and, and another course, other courses I've played, that would have been very disastrous. But it's a good course so far. Like, we're, we're like I said, we're 11 through. Great relaxing course you know you can just get out here and hit some balls uh would be a great course for you know playing with a crew you had uh two summer or or more it would be uh it'd be perfect it's just i should have been a birdie but uh i'm already eight under so who am i complaining Let's have a bogey free back nine is all I'm looking for. I would have loved. I'm still upset about that bogey on the front. 12th hole, par four, 384 to the pin. We have, uh, we have definitely been keeping it a theme of down the channel here, which is nice. I do believe, well, we're going over the, over the little inlet there. That's a good design. This very flat course, very, very flat, very little, little to no undulation in the fairway or the greens or anything like that. So, um, we don't have, we're not getting any really crazy bounces. Pretty much where the ball lands is where the ball lands. We're not getting. No, no surprise bounces of the ball landing on the fairway and then off somewhere, God knows where. That's a little slow. But again, 
mm, not gonna hurt us. Keep backing up, brother. You're gonna fall in that water. Like I said, we had that theme where we were running along the, that there for the longest time, and now it seems like we are heading back to the. Oh, that's a nice shot too. I don't know. We might. Uh, eh brain thinking all right 13th hole par 5 518 to the pin that was a nice strike Try to get this right as close as we can. Uh, that's slow again. That darn slow again. A little more roll. Got a little more roll in, on that green than I wanted to get, but uh, overall, not too bad. Is it about right there? Here we go. Eleven under. We've eagled. We look at the scorecard. We've eagled all the par fives. So far, if you check the scorecard, we've gotten the par fives so far. So, we have a trend going on that. Fourteenth hole is a par three, one ninety three to the pin. Pull that like that. That's perfect, and that's what I needed because that bunker is dangerously close to that hole. See, this, this would have been a hole where the fast would have really messed me up. I would have been right in the bunker on this one. We'll take our birdie, 12 under through 14. 15th hole, par four, 418 to the pin. A little bit of that dog leg back to the right. There we go, that's not bad, sets us up. We have been moving a bit slow, so we're going to take it to the left to try to compensate for that slow. And I hit perfect. <laughs> of course, I correct for the slow, and I end up with a perfect timing. It's This game does that to me. It's like, oh, oh, you think you're... No, nah, no, nah, you're good. Watch this. A little too soft, a little too soft. Didn't put enough, uh, didn't put enough mustard into that one. But it's okay, we'll take the par. 12 under through 15. 16th hole par five, 525 to the pin. Man, off that tee is just... This now, this is a hole that the the hazards definitely come into play on. This is probably one of the better done holes on the course. 
and we are being in a bunker. I knew it. I knew that fast was going to get me. All right. Well, we're playing out of a bunker here, so. Not too bad. It uh, looks like it's lying pretty nice on top of the sand. Should get a nice bit of roll up towards the. What are, you, what are you pointing at you? What are you pointing at the caddy for about the about the club? Bit on the slow side. Not a problem though. I see. I spoke too soon. This is what happens when you talk smack. This is what happens when you talk smack. I said we have eagled every par five on the course so far. And look what happens. Look what happens. I talked myself up into a jinx. We're not even birdieing it. We're not even birdieing this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Seventeenth hole. R4, 428 yards to the pin. Another, another bunker kind of right off the. Hmm, that's perfect, but the strike, the swing pattern was a little wonky, but it laid out to be all right. All right there. It's perfect. Man, I shouldn't have pulled back on it. I should have let it give some run. Should have let it get some run. All right, there we go. 13, 3, 17. Finishing up the back nine and the course as a whole 18th par four 467 yards to the pin nice uh nice back to the back to the clubhouse here There we go. There we go. That is a long, that is a long, long thing, but I'm going to give it uh, go up a club. A little on the slow side here. But she should run towards the hole. There we go. We're finishing up with 14 under Emerald Dragon. Good course. Good course. I do like it. Um, it is a very, as the difficulty says, it is easy, but that's not a bad thing. It's a great course to, because of the flatness and the wide fairways. It's a good course to learn on. It's a good course to iron some kinks out. If you, uh, if you're trying to knock off some rust or, you know, work on some stuff, I recommend it. I do. I highly recommend it. Go give it a play. Uh, that screenshot that they used for it is a beautiful screenshot. I should have grabbed that one, but, um, and I may go back and uh, find that exact picture and, and use it. Uh, anyways, folks, that is it for us for this episode. 
as always, be good, be blessed, and happy golfing. Thank you.